Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Bug Out with Brie. My name is Brie and I'm the Community Science Specialist at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. This week we're going to be talking about moths. That's the reason why I'm recording this video at night. Moths are something worth appreciating, even though they aren't as brightly colored as their daytime cousins, the butterfly. But how can we tell the difference between a moth and a butterfly? Are they related? Well, in this next video, we're going to go over the differences between a moth and a butterfly and how you can tell them apart. A moth and a butterfly can sure look alike. They both belong to the same insect order, Lepidoptera, but there are a few differences to look for so that you can tell them apart. First, look at the antennae. Antenna are two things that stick out the top of the insect's head. Moths and butterflies use their antennae to sense things in their environment, like smelling and finding their way. But moths and butterflies' antennae look a lot different. A butterfly's antenna are long and smooth, with a tiny hook or bump at the end. They almost look like a black wire. But moths have shorter, feather-like antennae. The feathering can be easy to see, looking almost like combs on either side with tiny hairs covering the thin antenna stem. Okay, so we know that the antennae can tell us the difference between a moth and a butterfly, but what else can we look at? Well, it's helpful to think about what time of day you're seeing them. Moths and butterflies are active at different times of the day. Moths usually like to be out at night and they are nocturnal, while butterflies are awake during the day. So if you see an insect with large wings landing on a flower during a sunny afternoon, it's probably a butterfly. But if you see a small insect flapping around a porch light at night, it's most likely a moth. And here's another clue. Butterflies and moths sometimes rest their wings in different positions. Moths will often rest their wings spread out flat, but butterflies usually rest with their wings held up together. But it can be a little tricky to tell them apart this way. For example, butterflies sometimes open up their wings and lay them flat so they can soak up the sun. So it would be mistaken for a moth but it's still a good clue to look for. I've been giving you clues on how to tell the difference between a moth and a butterfly in their adult stage, but as you may know, they don't start out as adults. They start out as caterpillars. You can tell moths and butterflies apart by how they spend their time between when they're caterpillars and when they're adults. The word cocoon and chrysalis are often used interchangeably, but they are two completely different things. Cocoons are specific to moths, while butterflies form chrysalises. Moths spin silk around themselves and molt inside the silk casing. This provides extra warmth and protection from the surrounding environment. And just like a moth's antennae, cocoons can look a little fuzzy. Inside the cocoon, the moth caterpillar would become an adult moth. You can usually find cocoons attached to the side of something, buried underground, or in a leaf litter. On the other hand, chrysalises are not silk. Butterflies molt into a chrysalis, which is a hard exoskeleton covering that protects the developing butterfly beneath. Chrysalises are typically found hanging from something. Inside the chrysalis, the butterfly caterpillar will become an adult butterfly. So even though the cocoon and chrysalis do the same thing, they are made differently and look different. So now that we know the difference between a moth and a butterfly, let's test our skills. Moths are often overlooked, but remember, pollen transport doesn't stop when the sun sets. Moths take over the night shift and pollinate nocturnal flowers. So if you see a moth out late at night, they are just as important as our daytime pollinators. 